Hello there, welcome to the Rue Records Music YouTube channel. My name is Rachel, I'm the owner of Rue Records Music. Uh, we specialise in music for the young and young at heart. Um, and these videos are for those students that are struggling a maybe a little bit um, with the oral test section of their music exams, for those people that want to learn a little bit more about music. And also we're going to be doing some master classes in jazz and improvisation and those sorts of things, which are quite exciting. Okay, so today we're going to start with the worst bit, we're going to start with the singing element of the oral tests. I don't know anybody that really likes these, even singing students that have accompanied haven't really liked them. But please be aware, they're never as bad as you think they're going to be. Okay, so that out of the way. First things first, it's not the X factor. You're not being judged on tone quality. Then, you know, giant X, Simon Cowell's not going to come shout at you. It literally is just a case of can you hear a sound and can you copy it? That's all you need to do. But do be aware, it's easy marks so at the end of the day, it's a couple of extra marks. It can be the difference between pass and fail, hopefully not, but it could be the difference between a merit and distinction, for example. So, so they do add up, but they are worth practicing. You wouldn't just skip a couple of bars of your piece because you decide that A, you don't like them and they're not going to be fine. You would still work at them. So. The easiest way to make the oral tests easier is to practice them, okay? So this is what this video is for. They're not big, they're not scary, just a bit weird. Okay, so the best advice I can give you is practice them. A lot of my students don't. They just wait until they have a lesson and then they practice them. So they'll do them once a week, but you wouldn't do your exam pieces once a week. So don't. So the easiest thing is either practice with what instrument you're doing your exam on. So if you're a piano student, play a few notes on piano, sing them back. If you're a flute player, play them, sing them back. A little bit harder if you're the drums or something, but you could download a free piano app. Click, click, clock, done. Sing it back. Um, you could get a friend to randomly sing a few notes at you. <coughs> sing it back. You could sing back little bits off the radio, you could sing little bits back off the advert on the telly. There's loads of things you can do. Just be really creative. You're just being asked to copy a sound. That's all. Um, the way I teach my students, every teacher's different, but the way I get mine to do it is a little bit unusual maybe. Um, Visualise a staircase and just see whether the sound is going up or going down or staying the same sneaky when it stays the same. If it's going up, you just need to think, is it going up one step, so one stair, or is it going up a couple of steps? So if you kind of, I get my students to close their eyes and visualise and see how far up it's going. And also, a lot of the time I get them to put their hands on the vocal cords, so then if you're going up a little step, you should hear your vocal cords tighten just a little bit, and then if you're doing a big leap, la, la, you should feel a bigger tighten. Um, a lot of my students find that, especially teenage boys, hard for teenage boys, um, the, the sound wiggles around too far because they're over jumping. Just think about a staircase. La, 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 ha. Ah. Close your eyes, visualise it, hands on throats, those sorts of things. But do practice. That's the best way. So um, in this video, uh, we're going to start with single notes. One note's just a copy, and then in the next section you get two notes to copy, and then going on from that, you guessed it, there will be three. And um, we'll do some more videos as well coming up soon, um, and they won't have this really long introduction in. So, just one really long introduction. So, goodbye from me. Pull back my hands when you see me play in a minute. Good luck. Practice. Makes perfect. And just practice, this is fun. Okay.